That's what I get for checking the chat. I've stopped the music. Morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us for, for this session. I know many of you have probably joined us for a few webinars um, over the last day, um, but just in case it's anybody's first time at a, a webinar, just to let you know that you will only see the speakers um, at this session, not any of the other attendees. Um, so all the attendees' videos and microphones are, are disconnected. It's, it's purely the speakers that you'll see today. Any interaction is um, through the chat and the, the Q&A. And we do encourage that. So please, I, I see that the chat's getting quite lively already. Um, so please put any comments, questions, or even just to say hello, just pop that up in the chat. That would be great. Um, and also just to let you all know that today's session is being recorded. Um, and that's just so that we can keep it for future reference, but also to share it for, for learning and things as well. So we are recording the sessions today. So just to introduce the session, so just to make sure you are all in the right place, this is our session about our film club, um, which was one of the activities that we've run um, during the, the, the last two years. So for those who don't know me, my name is Donna Hegarty and I'm the Development Manager at Neighbourhood Networks and I'm going to introduce my colleague Claire Strong, who is our Operations Manager. Um, so Claire, if I could bring you in, thank you. Thanks very much Donna and good morning to you all for day two of our virtual conference. Um, I don't know if many of you were on the session this morning but it was very inspiring getting to connect with our friends from acro across the globe and um, so I'm hoping that this will continue the inspiration and um, you can get to see some magic moments that the movie club has created. So today I'm sure I can see in the chat everybody is welcoming back Erin, a lovely friendly face to see again. Erin um, joined us on placement from Glasgow University and she approached me to carry out a project and I gave her free reign and I said that it was good for her to explore her talents of what she's already got and how she could share this with members also. And she done exactly that. Um, Erin, for the short period of time that she was with Neighbourhood Networks, gave so much to the organisation, but also to the members and helping them develop some key skills and basically inspire others. So the videos that you're going to see are very inspirational. They're, some are emotional. Um, so just to, to pre-warn you about that, um, some of them have actually made their way to Finland already, which is amazing, the, the power of social media and digital. So I would just encourage you all to, if you've got a cup of tea, just sit back and relax. And I'm going to pass over now to Erin, who's going to tell you some more about the Film Club and how this all came together. Thank you. Thanks so much, Claire. Thanks, Donna. Um, yes, yeah, so I, as Claire was saying, I'm Erin. Um, last year I started doing my master's um, in community development and as part of that I was so fortunate and ever grateful to do my placement with Neighbourhood Networks. Um, in a previous life I studied film and I've always kept a hand in, I've always stayed interested and I've always wanted to continue uh, developing my skills and my knowledge in that area. And when I was with Neighbourhood Networks, I obviously had to do my own uh, project, as Claire said. Um, and from having conversations with members, I knew that they were already quite a creative bunch, that there was already quite a bit of skills and knowledge existing within the network. And people were quite interested in film and photography um, and that's what I decided to offer. Um, Donna, can I get the next slide, please? So what we decided to do was create short films celebrating Neighbourhood Network's amazing motto, Together Anything is Possible. And that seemed like such an inspire, inspiring launch point for us um, to start thinking about our own films and how to get creative with those. Next slide. So how did we do this? Um, the Workshops by design were intended to be flexible to members' existing interests. So we had lots of conversations around what members want to learn about and also what skills already existed, uh, which they could share within 
uh, film skills workshops, which ran on Wednesdays over Zoom. And we also created a bigger day in the life film project, which we'll watch shortly. And uh, this the theme, A Day in the Life of uh, Neighbourhood Networks, was decided by members and it allowed members to film parts of their days and their lives and share with other people a little bit of what their experience experiences were like and what their life is like. Um, so we made that. We also made um, a second film, which was about their experiences throughout lockdown because obviously last year and the year previous were a bit strange. Um, but it allowed us to have a bit of a creative outlet to share with others how we found it, um, what because everybody's experience of lockdown was different, and to share that a little bit with other people. Uh, next, next slide, Dora. So, what did we uh, learn? What did we achieve? Well, we learned lots of new skills. Um, we learned about our digital knowledge, about how to use um, a phone to create films and share content. We learned about storyboarding and script writing. We even did a little bit of animation, which was quite uh, fun. And we also created lots of new connections and new films, particularly when, within film club, we probably had about eight people who came regularly and we had a great time. We learned about each other and we were able to share our experiences and create connections. And so that was very special. And very importantly, members were allowed to share their stories and um, encourage other people to spend a few moments in their shoes, which is what I think is the real opportunity and the real power of film, um, is that it allows a little window into somebody else's experience. And that's definitely what we hope to achieve with our neighborhood network films. So we were able to share our stories and we had loads and loads of fun. So now for the films. Um, first up, we're going to explore what neighbourhood networks means to our members. And I think Donna has this lined up. So Donna, I will um, let, you, let you share. But just before we finish, I just want to say thank you again to neighbourhood networks for hosting me. It really was a highlight of my year. Um, and I hope you find these films as special as I do. So over to the films now. Okay, I walk at Cumberland Old Town Centre. Yep. We can down the woods. And now we're going to take the woods to the Seafar Woods. Seafar Woods. This is a walk we go quite often as a group. So that is. It is now 10 to 1. We're on a road to the noon. Yeah, We're on a period of the road to the noon. And we'll give it a report when we get there. Ronnie Mackay, Scotland uh, Network TV. Good afternoon. Josh, do you want to describe what's happening here? <laughs> it's me with my family and we're up in Edinburgh, visiting Edinburgh uh, and it was quite fun. It was um, quite an, an interesting time and one of the stops we came to was uh, the National uh, what's it called? National Art Gallery in Edinburgh 
Mars. And um, I gotta say, it was a really lovely, a really lovely experience. Um, though there's a lot of hills, <laughs> a lot of hills. <laughs> I've been to Edinburgh before, but not. <laughs> I don't quite remember the hills. <laughs> That's something. daunting for me because I didn't know anybody but I got to know them very quickly. Would you say people are quite friendly? Yes. Never in that box is independence. Meeting new people. Meeting new people from other networks and having confidence in yourself and doing things. I'm never able to meet the people. And the exercise is really working. That was been helping me in the pain, how I meet my friends and meet my skills. I love it. That always makes me feel really. <laughs> um, what's the word? I just feel really touched every time I see them. And I think a few people in the chat said this brings back such nice memories of last summer as well. Um, so, yeah, that was uh, really great to rewatch again. I think our next film um, is about how lockdown made our members feel. And so they talk a little bit about the COVID pandemic in this one. As Claire said, you know, it's a bit emotional. So you might want to have your tissues ready and please feel free just to take a moment if that's what you need. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoy this one as well. It is still a very special film. I was in the living room and I saw all the chaos happening on TV and I discovered that we were in lockdown. Sex scene was Elizabeth, I was in the house. Um, I was at my house with mum and dad. And how did you feel when it happened? I'm quite scared. Oh, who? I just came out with a dentist and my sister came out for what? She said, Johnny. You know you're not allowed to leave your house for six weeks. I said, OK, six weeks. I said, no, don't believe it. Six weeks, it went gone and gone and gone. Matt, I was, I was very frightened at first. 
So I started keeping a diary and I started writing down how I felt. And that just made me feel worse because it was like Groundhog Day. I am scared, nervous, sad. One thing I found difficult was that my neighbour died on Christmas Day because of COVID. And another thing that I found difficult was that my second cousin, Robert, he died on Christmas Eve due to COVID. He had COVID for about a couple of months before that. Well, I felt difficult getting my COVID jab. Um, the first time I felt nervous, but the second time it was all right. It's very difficult to stay in the house and you're used to going out. Yes, I made loads of friends with neighbourhood networks and I got a boyfriend. Speaking with my dad um, and then I just visited his family. I walked out most days. Oh, if I had once, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. The phone is a good thing. Because you, you can talk to people and you're meeting new people all the time. I've done a lot of reading and I learned that I could write a book and I wrote a few books during lockdown. I tried to build myself up and get into a relationship eventually, so I did. Um, I learned how to do my own makeup. Bowling. The man's good. We meet on a Monday night and we've got different speakers. I'm very happy because I've got a boyfriend and everything's almost completely normal again. I say almost completely normal because obviously there are some things that you can't really have being normal again. Happy to get out and about and also happy I've found love. I'm feeling happy and excited now because we can get back to normal and like meet my mum and do things. Hallelujah! 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 You can do it. You can do it. Flying the heavens. That's it. Those are movies. So I uh, hope you like them. Um, oh, are we showing a third one, Donna? No, no, it's just to um, speak to Claire about Ronnie. No, 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 that's fine. Yes, yeah, so as you'll have seen, um, one of the Neighbourhood Network members, Ronnie, who was, I think, aka Ronnie Mackay in the first video, that's his journalist name, um, was hoping to be interviewed today, but um, unfortunately can't make it. So we're going to have Claire represent um, instead. So I've got just a couple of questions for Claire and obviously Claire if you've got anything that you think um, that I've missed or you think that the, the members would like to share then you can obviously chip in with those too but um, you obviously were my um, kind of my contact with Neighbourhood Networks and you looked after me while I was there so you were very involved in the film club as well so you'll hopefully have a good idea um, as to the members' experiences too as well. So why do you feel, um, what do you think the attraction was for members to film club? So first of all, I just want to say my face is hurting from all the smiling. I am so <laughs> proud of the work that the members have done. And I think the thing that made members want to join the film club is it's completely new. And Erin's approach to it was she took it to the members. It wasn't her idea she imposed on the members. She basically gave the floors theirs. What do you want to do? And I think that's something that's been um, echoed throughout the both films that you've seen there. It's all about members having a voice. And that's something that you've seen Ronnie. Ronnie was supposed to be with us today, sadly, but he's not well. 
Um, so his main mantra is having a voice and independence. That is something he speaks volumes about. And again, it's the heart of what Neighbourhood Networks does. And I think that's something that Erin had taken on board right from the moment that she joined Neighbourhood Networks and passed it all back to the members because it is member led. So I think that's the, the key thing of how it worked. Thanks, Claire. And what do you feel um, members learned while they were in film club? What, what were the values there? The values, I think, most of all was to, to listen and there was understanding. So like focusing on the, the video where members shared their experience of during COVID, it's something that we were all going through. The members were going through it, staff, um, people in their local communities. Everybody's journeys were different and it was a safe space to come and talk about that. Um, and how they were able to articulate how they were feeling through film. And I think that's something that was really special. Also as well, um, Erin had the patience to teach them new skills. So how to do filming when they were out with the network. So when lockdown restrictions lifted, uh, lifted a wee bit, members could go out a health walk and things like what you've seen in the film. So Erin was showing them how by just using a digital device such as a mobile phone, they can go out and capture some key moments, um, which was fantastic. My phone was pinging constantly with members sending me videos and Ronnie, Ronnie should get a job for Reporting Scotland or something because he was absolutely fantastic. Um, so I think exploring the skills, everybody has skills and it's our job to help entice these out. And that's something that Erin done a, a fantastic job with. And also people that couldn't join the network, like the, the movie club, because they've maybe um, had different um, things on, maybe they were working. It was accessible to absolutely everybody. So if they didn't come along weekly, they could still get involved by filming with their local groups and the community living workers and sharing their experiences directly with Erin also. And what do you think the members enjoyed about Film Club and the Day in the Life uh, film project? I think what members have loved to see, and I know there's a few of them on today's call, is, is to see their their name and lights, see their faces on the big screen, and that's what it's all about. It's it's showcasing people's journeys and their stories and inspiring others. Um, again, as I, I keep going back, people have skills and it's about showcasing these. And I think members are wanting to share their story with other people and helping them realise that you can, by doing small things, you're gaining independence and confidence. Um, and it's all about friendship building as well. So there's people that were part of the movie club that are from like so down in North Ayrshire. We've got people through in Western Bartonshire, Glasgow, Cumbernauld. They were all able to link up together digitally and that's something that probably pre-COVID would have been difficult to do but this has happened naturally and friendships and um, some blossoming relationships have formed from that and I think that's a key thing that we should be building on um, and certainly exploring further. Thanks well I think that's it for me but I hope you enjoyed the films. Um, if anybody has any questions I do believe we've got a bit of time to take those too. I think Cheryl, did you say that you were going to manage them or keep an eye on the chat? Somebody will tell me what I need to answer or anybody else. So there is a lot of chat yeah. going on, um, but yeah, Cheryl or Michelle, yeah. if you get anything yeah, in particular that. that you just want um, to pull out. Yeah, sure. Cheryl. So we've got Emma, Ma, Emma Murray, who's a community living worker for um, the network that Ronnie's part of, saying that he regularly talks about the film club and how much he loved being part of it and learning about how to actually take videos capturing those special moments. Um, he continues using these skills every week and making sure he takes loads of photos and videos of fun times. Um, thank you so much, Sharon. Um, yeah, what else have we got? Love it. Brilliant, absolutely amazing. So some really lovely comments there. Yeah, it was really, it was great. It was great time for me as well. It was, um, I really honestly, I say, I'd say it a million times, but I really couldn't have asked for a better placement with a better organisation. So um I love doing film club I love to get to know the members and I'm also incredibly grateful that I was useful and had the opportunity so um yeah but I think that's probably it I don't know if uh, Claire you or Donna you want to say any final wrap-ups 
Well, I, I, just I, I, really I, a big thank you. Yeah. Um, both, you know, Erin, you put a lot of energy into this. Um, so, you know, thank you so much for sharing your skills and, and Claire as well. You know, you, you were kind of getting everybody G'd up for it. But I suppose the biggest thank you is to the stars of the, the videos, all of the members. You know, they they really shared their lives. And what, what people are seeing today is a small snippet of the movies and films that they made. They, they really were producing content all the time. So a massive, massive shout out to um, all the members who were involved, but particularly you two guys for, for kind of overseeing the project as well. So thank you. Is there anything else, Claire, that you were no, wanting to add? I'm just having a nosy at the comments. So there's so many great things that's come out. So there's Andrew just shared that he also started a YouTube channel after lockdown. So there's so much great work that's happening. Um, and again, Matt's saying as well, it'd be great to have like an international film festival. These are all things that definitely we should be getting involved with. So again, thank you to everybody. A massive thank you to Erin, but most importantly, the members, because without the members, we wouldn't have been able to share these stories. So thank you for everybody coming along. I need to go and give my face a rest now from all this smiling. <laughs> but I hope you can join us for the rest of our sessions this afternoon and also tomorrow. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Yeah. Thanks, Bye. 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 Bye.